Today we're looking at a 1951 Ford F1. It is a short bed, half ton truck. Uh, the color is a rupier color, maybe a little more low in it. Uh, the paint is more than 10 years old, according to the previous owner. Uh, the paint does shine good. It looks pretty good over the most of the vehicle. There are a few spots where the paint is peeling up. Uh, so to make it a show truck, it will need a respray. Uh, but for a driver, it's in perfect shape. Uh, we're going to walk around the vehicle, let you see how straight it is. The vehicle is very straight, there's no dents, major scratches. Again, the paint is peeling in a couple places, but the uh, vehicle's in very good shape. This is a local vehicle. Again, the previous owner has owned it for the last 10 years. Um, he hasn't done too much to it in 10 years, uh, just pretty much to the interior few maintenance items and uh, drove it a good bit. This vehicle is owned in Virginia. There's very little rust on this vehicle. Uh, none on anything that's visible underneath. There's a couple very small spots. Um, nothing that's a major concern. For a show truck those might want to be addressed. I would consider this a daily driver. In fact I've driven the vehicle home back and forth to work for the last several days. Uh, it was pretty cold this morning when we started it up. Uh, cranked right up, no problems at all. This vehicle has a 351 Windsor. Has a C4 transmission, a 9-inch rear end. Uh, vehicle runs great, it is automatic. Um, I've had it up to about 70 on the highway just cruising around. Uh, it does have wood in the bed. The wood has been painted and there is a rubber mat covering up the wood. The wood's in good shape. It can be stripped and stained uh, if you prefer that look. The tailgate is present. Both bumpers are present. A uh, small place in the fender here will need to be addressed. It's just a crack in the paint. I would probably replace the floorboards or the uh, running boards. Uh, those rubber mats sometimes allow moisture to build up underneath them. Uh, they're pretty solid. Just some blistering, but they're nice and solid. Again, the paint shines fairly well. It does have some custom pacer wheels, 15-inch uh, front and rear. The front tire size is a 215, 7515, and the back, I believe, is a 255, 7015. It does have dual exhaust. Sounds great. It's not real obnoxious, but you definitely hear it coming. A couple spots in the hood you can see that need some touching up. All the glass is in good shape. Rubber has been replaced. Again, it's a 351 Windsor. Offenhauser uh, valve covers. Has a Shelby intake. Vehicle runs real strong. It is a 12 volt system. We'll take a look at the inside. All the chrome's in great shape on here, by the way. The mirrors, door handles, it's all in very good shape. The inside does have some nice custom interior. It's a tweed, it's done about two years ago. It has a nice insignia in the back seat and nice Ford logo on the doors. Doors are in great shape. There's no rotting on the bottom. They're in real, real good shape. A nice carpet with padding, sound barrier as well as the headliner. Nice wrapping behind the seat for the gas tank. Has a stock radio on the dash. There is a uh, aftermarket radio in the glove box with some speakers. Sound a little better. Heat works great. Nice and warm. Uh, all the gauges work. There is a temperature gauge down here. Let's go ahead and start it, see what she sounds like. Starts right up. Not sure how good of the sound is on here. We're not seeing any smoke at all. Just runs real smooth. There is dual exhaust.
Hopefully you can hear how nice that sounds. It has electric wipers. Odometer showing 83,760 miles. We believe these are actual. And the title shows the same. We do have the title in hand. It is a clean and clear title. As, as in the listing, this vehicle is not a show truck, not a trailer queen. It's a great driver, great daily driver. Um, I've put a couple hundred miles on it already and uh, had a lot of fun doing it. If you're looking for something, you can just get in, turn the key, and cruise on down the road. This is it. Again, I've had this up to about 70 miles an hour, and it just pulls real strong, stays real straight. It's a real fun to drive. Uh, we have this vehicle listed locally at our dealership. It is Silverline Automotive. We're in Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, if you want to call us with any questions, area code 434-239-0087. Our website is silverlineautosales.com. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions for you. You're welcome anytime to come by and see it in person.